We're going to turn now to our GMA cover story. Kristen Wiig opening up about her fertility struggle, including three years of using IVF before turning to surrogacy to have her twins. We're going to talk to Dr. Jen Ashton about this in just a few moments. But first, here is Kristen's story. And I feel relaxed and I'm ready to pop. She's one of Hollywood's funniest women. Her comedic timing, epic in Bridesmaids. And this morning, Kristen Wiig is opening up about her journey through IVF and becoming the mother of twins. In the September issue of In Style, the 47-year-old saying, emotionally, spiritually, and medically, it was probably the most difficult time in my life. I wasn't myself. There are so many emotions that go with it. There was a lot of stress and heartache, adding that she found comfort in others going through the same issues. What helped me was reading about other women who went through it and talking to those who have gone through IVF and fertility stuff. It can be the most isolating experience. And even though the comedian is fiercely protective about her privacy, the experience revealed to her that she was not alone, saying, Every time I said that I was going through IVF, I would meet someone who was either going through it, about to go through it, or had a friend who just did it. It's like this underground community that's talked about, but not talked about. Adding, I wish I had talked about it more and asked for more help. There's such a support system out there. Well, let's bring in Dr. Jen Ashton. And Dr. Jen, I think many couples who are going through IVF know it's going to be tough, but a lot of people might believe that it almost virtually guarantees a pregnancy and a live birth, but that is not the case. It's absolutely not the case, Amy, and it's not the easy way out. Just according to the CDC, in general, IVF yields about a 25% live birth rate. Mm. And in terms of surrogacy 101, this is something the laws vary state to state. Luckily, it is legal in the U.S. Um, about 750 babies are born every year with the aid of a surrogate, and it comes with a huge price tag, could be as high as $200,000 in some cases. Wow. You're an OBGYN. You often have these types of conversations with your patients. What do you tell them to consider when or before they do IVF? Well, first, that it is a marathon, not a sprint. You have to consider not just the physical tolls, but the emotional ones. Um, you have to consider the financial costs. And people need to be reminded there are multiple paths to parenthood. But as we heard in that piece, so often there is shame involved, like somehow this makes someone less of a woman. This is a medical condition. No stigma, no shame. That's very important to remember. Dr. Jen, thank you. We appreciate it. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.